You're on, big man. We're on, big man. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, we're we're live. All of we're a sudden, live. I'm, I'm I'm alive. I'm alive. We've never good been morning, live. Before. Good morning. Good evening to all our uh, all our global fans. Growing every week. We're really thrilled about that. Yeah. Thank we have you all 13 for, now. Yeah, 13, 13 and a half. Because I, I saw a small child trying to trying to watch it as well, but uh, nice but his mother said, "Don't do it." Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're back at globetrotting again we're back uh, in the us of a this time in austin if i'm not uh, mistaken i probably am it's probably an age thing. no you're right this time you actually oh, got, not, there's no banner uh, so you try not to screw oh, up. yeah i've i've, I've which are, are we oh we are on the two old farts making noises show as well yeah, we in case, in case, yeah because steve's got this sort of you know temporary background so i have to sort of you know wonder where the hell i am today yeah, anyway yeah. We're in Austin, it would appear, um, and we're going to be talking to a lady about art auctions and the art scene and everything which is hot and buzzing and happening in Austin. Uh, the lady's name is Natasha Wild. Uh, I've pronounced that wrong, uh, but she's obviously going to correct me. Um, enough of me. Uh, I'd just like to say hi, Natasha. Hi. <laughs> Have, we have Oscar Wilde's daughter. So I'm very <laughs> about that because we often don't get really big celebrities. We kind of get the, like, the, the, the X and Y and Z listers, but this is like in Austin. She's like a like a C plus. So it's very exciting for us. <laughs> We're very excited. People so, are gonna think that's true. <laughs> all I know right now is we have out of our twelve fans, two are watching. Okay. Okay. Um, huge, Perfect. huge success. Perfect. Um, so <laughs> very about that. Um, so why you're here other than because it's 8 9 30 in the morning in austin and we needed to bust somebody's chops so um <laughs> is because there's an auction coming up this thursday that we two old farts have been asked to host so people were drinking and on drugs very heavily that day <laughs> so we figured we would have you tell us about the artists that are coming a little about the auction i they understand there's a charity which is my i think it's my favorite charity a halfway house for girls that don't go all the way so I'm very excited that we're going to do that charity. Um, and I figured you can give us a little insight into like what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. I'll do my best. Um, I, I guess where do I start? Okay, so the beginning is good, but not too far in the beginning because we already don't, we don't. Yeah. Well, I was pools, born. Yeah, right. <laughs> takes a while. It's a whole thing. Right. Um, so I. I think, I guess I want to start talking about how I got involved with this organization. Um, uh, this market and auction um, promoted by you guys. And thank you so much for hosting. Really kind of you guys. And thank you so much for having me today. Um, it's some, my first uh, live podcast. So here we go. Just so you know, um, our first live one too. So oh. all two <laughs> together, this is awesome. And, and if our banner was behind me, it would say our expectations are really low. So okay, we're expecting perfect. nothing. So this is excellent. So I will exceed the expectations, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully that's the goal. Okay. Um, so I guess I got introduced to a wonderful uh, woman named Cheryl. Um, and she, through a friend of mine, um, Tierney Riker, and she um, had this concept for an awesome market. Um, she's opening up her store, her grocery store in um, South Austin on South Congress Avenue and hadn't quite gotten those doors open, but really still wanted to uh, make an impact with the community because she's very much aligned with my mission, which is to promote, um, to really make a place and hold space for artists and local vendors, um, food is her game, um, but she's also very appreciative of the arts. So um, we got introduced. I'm an art person in the city. I do a lot of art shows and um, I've been doing my <laughs> the most I can to promote all of the interest of the local artists here in town uh, because it's just, just such a, a vibrant art scene um, filled with you know the people that have lived here for so long. And I just really want to make sure that those people get there, um, you know, just are able to be supported by this amazing influx of um, growth that we've had here in the city. So um, I guess, you know, the, when the, you guys, I don't know who came up with the idea for the auction, but I loved it because art auctions are, um, I mean, well, Cheryl's, Cheryl's a big fan of the show. 
Um, you know, she secretly watches every episode and every short that we do. And I think she was like, these two idiots would be perfect <laughs> in Austin, right? So I think that's how it all started. Um, oh, so I, thought, I thought you guys were going to have paintings. And then I heard, and she's like, would you guys do an auction? And we're like, sure, we've never done one, but we'll do anything. We're stupid like that. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, Stupid and old, Stephen. I think that's what it is. Think. Well, sure. And, and for David, it's going to be like 1230 at night. So he'll just be half asleep and dribbling. Oh. Be like a lot of fun. I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no Valium. I think for me, just uh, <laughs> endless, endless cups of of some sort of stimulating uh, uh, fluid to keep me awake. I think. Oh, and of course, those very special, uh, very special matches I have to use to keep my eyelids open. Right. She's not that old. She isn't under. She, she's like 20. She is. Oh, I am not like 20, but. All right. She's uh, 15, great. and she parents signed a waiver. So <laughs> tell us about, if you would, some of the, I see beautiful art behind you. So are some of those artists coming or do you tell us? Yeah, about some actually. Um, so, you know, I, because I do this all the time, I, I often end up getting to hold art for artists that just don't have a place for it. And um, I think the safest place for art is on a wall. <laughs> so I put it up. And so I have like a constantly rotating art gallery here at my house, which is nice. a privilege and also a little overwhelming for some people. So I can show you around a little bit. Sure. Um, yeah, I, I could see, I think I could see Jimi Hendrix, uh, Boris Karloff, mm -hmm. is that? That one, I'm not really sure where that came from, but that is, this one behind the cheetahs here, I'm like, I'm not really sure what you guys are able to see, but the cheetahs are um, Carlos Elliott Burgess, um, as well as this art of shaving um uh, okay well, uh, is that a family is that a family portrait the other one on the uh forest column or? on the left um that's not a family portrait that is actually a benjamin ortiz um he is oh, uh, my apologies to benjamin my apologies to benjamin for that <laughs> he actually pulled the inspiration for that out of uh, um like the old school pennies catalogs and things like that you know he like kind of see the they had like kind of the older looking um brassiers i think they called it back then <laughs> but it's really a commentary of like it's called um date with war so it's kind of like this you know moment of i don't know i won't go totally into it i really could speak about art like just for a really long time so we won't <laughs> go into all that date um, the auction since you want us to do like a four hour auction with you guys you're gonna have a lot of talking to do oh look I know. So her. that's Catwoman, obviously. Oh, yeah. The lady from Hilda's House of Pain. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> so that is another Benjamin Ortiz. I actually have several of his here because he is in San Antonio. And I hold on to some things sometimes. So here we have, um, that's a Stevie Ray Vaughan um, by Benjamin Ortiz. Um, we have some photography here by someone named Natasia Wild. And... And this is like a neo portrait by um, another Carlos Elliott Burgess. Wow! So Miss Wild, Oscar's daughter or granddaughter, yeah. is very talented. So thank you. Um, I do my best. It's actually kind of where I started. Oh, and this is like the big bad, bad boy of the. This one, I'm. De this one will be in the auction. I like that tiger. That's very cool. It's a big, big, big uh, piece, really? but it's an oil painting. It's. Super beautiful, lots of texture, lots of water. It gets a cat in the water. So, um, and this is the year of who's the water tiger. By? So, yeah. It is, um, is the year of the tiger. Now, who's that tiger by? That is, um, wow, drawing a blank. Um, I've heard of him, drawing a blank. That's drawing how a I blank. Um, yeah. Give me a second on that one. This is a Christian Amadeus Rodriguez. Um, hey, I sure. really like That's both this. first names. You can see that better. Really beautiful. This one's one of my favorites. Um, this is an artist out of Austin who's been around for a long, long time, and you know, really just doing the most. More my photography, and then mm -hmm. Carlos Elliott, and then we actually have. This is like a piece. Sometimes I'll um, keep pieces for uh, collectors who are trying to like recycle their collection. Right. So that was an instance of that. And um, here, let me get that real quick. Um, that tiger. Just, I don't know what's wrong with I, me. 
putting out her putter and she's going it's to been a long time since i yeah baron holt sorry um it's been a long time since i yeah this tiger is gorgeous yes it is um now i'm trying to find also, you guys also again. super early for you huh? in austin they would say because great uh, yeah F figure out all the excuses you can for me please <laughs> yeah, well, I, was just, I was just wondering if you had to, i mean i know last time we spoke very briefly you you didn't get up to speak to us you get you got up to put the trash out but, um, <laughs> that right. was kind of what happened. So, um, yeah, yeah. So, I was just wondering if the same thing happened this morning, really. Yeah, and I can't find you guys now. I'm like looking for the other screen. That's cool. Where... That's right. we see, the important thing is we see you. Don't worry about it. This yeah. is what's so great about live. That Even scares me a little bit. But... Suit, we would still screw this stuff. Okay. Woo! All right. Um, yeah. And there is more like there is so much more. I even have like four print racks here full of stuff. So um, so I won't give it all this. away. So you guys can see a lot of it up on the auction and then I'll have a booth at the market um, to, sh you know, I'm going to bring as much as I can. And I are in the same, I think you and I are in the same booth, actually. We are? Oh, I, I don't, well, I heard, a, I heard I have, a, I have a tent and I was like, oh, I have a tent. You, I don't know what yeah. I'm doing in it. I'm going to juggle apparently. But I mean, so, um, gotta go that's part of what I've been doing is, um, you know, I've been kind of handling the vendor coordination for Cheryl, um, right. because, you know, I know all these people and we're like trying to figure out placement. I think we do have your three year um, spot filled and it's going to be with the artist that's painting. Ooh. So let's talk about him. Yes. Um, <laughs> hey, before you get, does he know he's stuck with one of us in his tent? <laughs> I don't while? think he knows yet. Wow. Um, is it going to be mad if I put my finger in his ear while he paints and just go, hey, what's going on, buddy? Give him like a wet right. belly. Okay, I'm just saying. And we may you know, I'm him. sure he would find that yeah. inspirational. Okay, cool. <laughs> if he's up, let's get him on now and we can just tell him. No. I <laughs> would love that. Um, you know, one of the – so he's actually been very busy lately with Awesome Murals. He was working on something for uh, – I want to say it was Austin High or one of the high schools around Austin – um, but he's also, his name is Gabriel Portillo and okay. he goes by paste and, um, cause he's been, he's a mural artist. I think, you know, street history of street art and, you know, very, very beautiful stuff. Actually, I'd love to share some of his, sure. um, maybe like a quick video. I wonder if I can present. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, she should be able to share her screen, right, David? I should be able to, if I yeah. can figure it out. Let me see if I can present. You're going to see like a million tabs open right now, but <laughs> Ooh, that just, dude, look at oh. that. Oh. So yeah, here's that. Let me see if I can just, yeah. can you see Instagram right now? Uh, we cannot, but that means that we just don't know what we're doing. So we'll try to figure out if we can show. Oh, it should. Okay. It did. Okay. Entire screen. No window. Okay. Just. That one. Yeah. Let's see if that'll help you share your screen. Microsoft edge tab. Yeah. Okay. How about that? Share. Does that work? Oh, yeah. Uh, you have to uh, add, yes, add I think, the other screen. Uh, there you go, Steve. There That's you the go. puppy. Okay, yeah. perfect. So I was doing it right. You were doing it wrong. Perfect. Yeah, yes, Steve. Right. You're, 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 you know. <laughs> okay, so um, this this is um, Pace Instagram. Um, you can tell he's got some really interesting work. Um, so this is something he did for the Moody Center um, recently called Rise Among nice. the Sun. And this is a piece that he did um, inside the Line Hotel. Which okay. I don't know if you guys know the Line, but they're very like every, very aesthetic. It's a really beautiful place to go. So you can see his style is kind of, you know, a little psychedelic, but very like kind of Texas music oriented. And here's a video of him doing that <laughs> mural. Um, which i mean he's just i love the um like the dual nature of yeah. the way that he projects these art this artwork and also the colors because it almost looks like uh, ultraviolet light to me so but, this poor has no clue of what he's in for with me helping him try to sell his <laughs> so i have mentioned you guys i told you know i asked him if he was open to it and he said it, he's like, sure, why not? You know, and artists are often yeah. are 
you know, pretty open to... Well, maybe, to he th maybe he thinks it's part of his social program to look after two old guys, you know? I think so. I think he thinks <laughs> like, he probably gets brownie points and he's and it's yeah. Austin, so they're all religious because it's Texas here, so he probably thinks he's going to get into heaven. So, you know, yeah. this yeah, will be interesting. But it's gorgeous. His work is absolutely gorgeous. Thank yeah, you. It is. I'll, I'll, I'll say thank you on his behalf. Um, What's really, uh, really refreshing for me is, you, uh, I don't know if it's because it's, you know, Texas and, you know, with this sort of, you know, on, on the Mexican border sort of thing as well, that the, the, the color palette is something that, you, that I don't see on a daily basis, you know, and, um, and I, 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 I find it's warming to the eye and warming to the soul when you see it. So, yeah, yeah. it should be really exciting. And, you know, and, and, in, and in what it is today, very grey, although it's incredibly warm for this time of year, but um, very grey uh, Holland, um, you know, we need a splash of colour, so we're looking forward to seeing his stuff. Oh, okay, awesome. now, before our huge fan base, because there's no one, there's a couple of people watching live, which is pretty cool, so we're going to repost <laughs> this so people can watch it. So, the Austin, the Austin, the Austin, the auction is this Thursday. I thought the first one was better, Stephen. The Austin? The Austin, yes. We're selling a, a kid named Austin. You've seen him on milk cartons. Anyway, Amazing. the Austin, <laughs> she's like, no, we don't, we're not doing I'm that. full of surprises. <laughs> I'm being Listen, surprised kind of all the time. <laughs> um, so the auction will be this Thursday, which is October 20th. It will be at 5, it starts, I think, at 5.30 Central Time. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're going to start auctioning off paintings then or just kind of give everybody an idea of all the paintings and you and I will like show them the painting and you'll talk through it. David will be there dribbling, so that'll be fun. We're gonna auction that off as well. Um, and then at some point- worth like, a lot of money. That's the, where the money is. That's what I'm thinking, that's the money performance shot. Art. The performance yeah. art. Yeah, I mean, some people, some people are sperm donors and when you get to my age, it's, it's I'm like a drool, drool, you know, just drool a lot. And you know, you people want that stuff, you know, it's vigorating. So we're gonna have roughly 15 or 20 paintings for, I know we have this gentleman doing a live painting, so that's going to be so, very. So the other thing we have going is um, we have a bunch of of artists who are going to be there at the market, you know, just vending their wares right. um, and they will have their paintings and prints available. Um, so you can, I don't know if you guys are planning to walk around, if you can walk anymore, I don't know. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I have a scooter and I drive the little scooter around and it has big lights in the front of the hall. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. You're gonna, so you're going to wreak havoc. You're just going to be like, yeah, he's, I mean, he's, he's, he's moved up from a Zimmer frame to a scooter. So, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's all uphill from here. Well, I'll double check with Cheryl, make sure we have um, enough insurance. Can I, can I just mention that. the fact that if, if, if people are crazy enough like me to be up, uh, want to watch history in the making, because it will be. It, this is a first for everybody. Um, so that's the exciting thing about the fact because it could be car crash, uh, car crash YouTubing as well. But um, the, if anybody's up and around at uh, 12.30 a.m., that's Friday morning. In Holland. Uh, in Holland already. Of, of, yeah. Well, it'll be right. 11.30 11, 11 in the UK. Uh, you know, jump on and, um, and come and have a look and... Uh, see us uh, do crazy stuff and um, and meet these these artists that I think nobody would have seen before. So this is uh, really, really exciting. And, we, and thank you to Natasha for giving the opportunity and, and to Steve and to Tasties yeah. for, for, for putting it all together because I'm, I'm, I'm really up for this one. So this is going to be, a, if I'm not mistaken, the address is 30, I don't know, 38 something yeah. stuff. Let's pull, um, 38 something is that on google can i google 38 something here let me yeah. show you the i did that last time i got a whole again. load of different pictures yeah. i'm no, going to share no. my screen again he's going to share her screen again see one of us so knows what can, we're doing you can see hang on um so natasha how many artists do we think i mean that that tiger in the background is absolutely gorgeous i may actually have to bid on that one but um how many artists do we think we're going to actually have for bid other than the one that you're going to be um, showing, the one that you showed us, and the gentleman who's going to be there doing it live? Um, there, in total, we have 13 vendors. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it was going to start making music here. Okay. There's the flyer. Can you guys see it? 
Yes. And is, it, the, is, it, is it happy time again that I missed something here? You did. <laughs> I am so a professional when it comes to that, this. That's stuff. Okay. okay. We muted we muted the audio, but we're gonna play it towards the end because I need to get my exercise in this morning. Yes, there we go. Sorry, I figured it out how to mute it there. That's okay. Um, but this is the market. Um, and we it's going to be from six to nine thirty. You guys may start a little bit earlier. You said five thirty, that's good. We can, oh. you know, kind of get things rolling and make sure we work out any kinks. Um, and then it's at thirty two oh eight South Congress, so that's right there across from St. Edwards um, University um, off South Congress Avenue in the parking lot there um, that once was called the SoCo Square. So um, very visible from, the, you know, you'll be able to see it. We have lots of things going on. So free beer, by the way, if anybody's into that, um, which I think a few people are, we have lots of games. It's gonna be like fun for the family. We have a photo booth, um, lots yes. of local food, which is just, super awesome to be promoting these vendors that are just incredible chefs. Um, and then we're of course having the art, art auction and I'm going to be um, offering pumpkins to paint for the kiddos and the adults. I always like to do the paintings as well. So um, we'll have some fun with that. And of course, all the artists and the jewelry and the fashion, um, you know, we have fashion designers, um, we have a balloon artist, face painting, et cetera, et cetera. So 3208 South Congress is the is where we're uh, gonna be. address. And um, I did want to mention like one of the things that I'm kind of trying to focus on for this market is this art fashion scenario, because I really love the intersection between those two things. So I just kind of wanted to show you a little example of sure. something like that might, might be like, um, there, but we've got like art clothes. So like this is an example of like a painting that was made into a uh, tank top, a little skirt to go with it. Very this, nice. uh, this artist will not be there. Um, unfortunately, she's got a prior engagement, but her name is Elizabeth Banker. And she's an awesome visionary artist is the style that she goes So, so how is she doing so, that? Is she making the painting first and then making the clothing afterwards or is it? Yes, exactly. So she knows okay. she's an oil painter. Something we often encounter is like oil painters that you know take so long to make their work, and they're so beautiful, incredible pieces. Um, it's really hard to kind of communicate the value of that to people um, uh, for some reason, um, and so they oftentimes you know will take that you know art and like make prints or and some people have started doing clothes, and I love that because I'm really into fashion and have been um, you know interested in the intersection between art and fashion. For many years so i'm kind of that's like a niche that um i'm pursuing this kind of artist yeah i mean the sort of prices that you'd have to pay for that you know if you wanted to have one piece of bespoke clothing made for you you know yeah. it's, it's, it's such a bargain at the end of the day even though people go oh, how much for a tank top and a skirt oh, okay yeah, so, yeah well, if, you, if, you, if you want something cheap go to the supermarket and get it and uh, well, I think people else, want to wear it with else. art, you know, like yeah. people are way more likely to bring home like, they, you know, I mean, okay, you buy a piece of art, you put it up in your, your house and you get to see it, which I think is amazing. It definitely brings like an energy into the home that is valuable. If you want like some infusion of energy, I highly recommend purchasing original art because like a print just doesn't do the same thing. Um, but yeah, if you can't do that, or if you would rather like wear it and show everybody, then you have some clothes that yeah. have art on them. So yeah. I just think it's a well, it's, it's no different than when you go to an art museum, and I mean like a big one, and they sell the t-shirts or they sell the handbag or they sell it. Right, it's the same type of thing. So it's yeah, just, exactly. It's, it's just a way to do self-expression. Or if you're Jimi yeah. Hendrix, you would you know back in the day sell a t-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> that one I found somewhere. So I don't know the artist. I just love okay. it. I'm a, He's I'm probably a gonna watch it. Too. That's mine. So oh. yeah. now, between now and Thursday, we'll be able to see the the art, or is it gonna be a surprise? And we're gonna show the art to everybody on the on the day of the auction. Yes, absolutely. Um, we're gonna show everyone the art on the day of the auction. Also, you know, um, you can also have a preview and check out. Um, let me just also like do another quick share. 
Um, if we were doing this via Zoom, this would be the same thing. We just don't, we don't edit anything because we just like, we told you, it's like you're at a cocktail. I know, we like to show everyone how. Yeah, it, it just got stuck between us, so we're sorry. Yeah, just, just how weird it is trying yeah. to make this look seamless. It's definitely yeah. not. No, but, but yeah. why? You know, I mean, that's the, you know, that's the other thing. There's so much slick uh, TV, and when when TV gets or well, YouTube things get really slick, everybody Ooh. just says, "Oh, it's all fake anyway." You know. And I, the, the, I have the, to tell you that that tiger painting is my favorite. So do we know where that? It is so from? great. So this is this is where I'm directing you guys to my website right now. This is wildartcreations.com. A lot of this art will be available um, at the auction. Um, these are all like local artists that have, uh, that live in and around Austin. So here's like my selection, you know, this is a lot of stuff that's on the wall. You can see all these oh, like, on my that. website. Um, we've got, so, and then, you know, I, I like to, you know, this is one artist that they won't be there. So I'll show you. Um, so they've got, I mean, it's a little, maybe a little risky there, but I really love the style of this projection, this kind of dual, um, thing. So you can, you can kind of see the there is there just as a print, but it's like very um, affordable. And um, then we have like kind of like higher level pieces or originals, um, like this phoenix. Um, will the will the um, like the tiger and some of the ones that are on your wall that I guess we're going to be sending to the auction? Are they going to be reserves or how are we? Uh, how are yes. We so we're going to start out with a minimum bid. Love okay. the artist Corey Vaughn. Um, we're going to start out with a minimum bid and yes, have a reserve price. Cause you know, we're not going to sell these for $25. Um, yeah. you know, <laughs> I know we all want that, but, um, we, the artists are taking home the vast majority of the, of the sale. So I would, I really want them to get, um, you know, you know, make rent this month, <laughs> yeah. but, um, I got a lot of, um, things to offer. So we're going to, you know, try to, show everything off in its best light and, you know, hopefully get some support for the locals here um, in Texas, in Austin. Um, that was something that's, I don't know if you guys saw that, that movie, the, um, every, everything, everywhere, all at once. That yes. We saw, I was, like, it was fun. I enjoyed it. It was a little, I love, yeah, I really, really loved it. So anyways, that's, you know, you can also see some of my previous exhibitions on my website. If you go, go, I've done fashion shows, I've mm -hmm. done, you know, solo sh exhibitions and, you can even like if you like to tour art that way. I have virtual tours on my website, so you can oh, go nice. look at Stephen, it. Stephen, you didn't tell me that she was famous. I'm, a, <laughs> I, I'm like not famous, I but I, I'm, like, I've like, been in yeah. Austin for 16 years. It's a small yeah. town, and so you know people know everybody. When you mention art, her name comes up, and like right away they go, "Oh, you have to talk to her," and that's it. That's what they say. <laughs> Oh, oh, back, oh and the other thing I wanted to, to show you going back is, to the artwork, I think that was a really important point to just to just to sort of hammer that home. Um, all of these paintings have to have a reserve on it because, and they have to be a price where um, they where, that you pay for the value which you're going to get. And if nobody's prepared to pay for that, I suggest to all the artists, well, you know. Bummer then for everybody who didn't buy your art, pack it in and take it away and take it and put it in front of another audience who yeah. will appreciate it. As There's simple as that. You know, because like, like you said, selling it for $25 because that's the only the only bit on the table. Uh -uh. Right. We're not <laughs> that's doing not that. Good for, um, that's not good it's for valuable and, you know, these artists deserve to be paid for their work um, like everybody yeah. else. Um, and I, I mean, I would, I just would congratulate someone who got to take one of these awesome pieces home because they're just amazing. Um, really just epic, honestly, um, and, stuff going on and, here in Austin. And they can be shipped worldwide. And Absolutely. We can ship worldwide. I have a garage full of boxes <laughs> ready to go, like of all sizes. So I've been collecting well, we, we, them. We'd have it, we'd have it created for you people, especially on some of the, the tiger I like is 8,800 on the wall. I don't know if it's going to start lower at the real auction, but it's 8,800. So someone wants to buy that outside the United States or outside of Austin, we need it shipped you know there's so we're all so we all understand there's the price of the art there's a buyer's premium the buyers are responsible for the shipping um and the insurance and whatnot and we'll everything will get to you within 30 days um but and the we have a software for the auction so people can come and register online and we'll have qr codes and whatnot so it'll be kind of seamless and hopefully the one painting that's going to go for charity will do really well um, and hopefully the artists will make money and i understand if this goes well you guys want to do this as a monthly thing 
Yeah, we would love to do a monthly. I, I mean, all the artists are very excited about it. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's been a lot of people who just couldn't yeah. make this one that want to jump in on the next. And this just going to keep getting momentum. Well, I, I, I was really excited about it until Steve said we're going to do it every month. <laughs> right yeah you're gonna just be up for all hours yeah. every yeah, so, so, so the only the only thing that i that i said yeah that's great but you know it's, it, it's still a school day for me for me the next day um so yeah if we can do that on a on a friday or a saturday um night for me so it's a Good friday work. night friday night for you guys or a saturday night for you guys well i'll put that yeah let's let's do it as regularly as possible <laughs> It's up to Cheryl. By the way, this is all about taste. You know, taste market is. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 we appreciate that. And well, you know, she, she's trying to make sure that the community is able to come out for it. That the you know everybody involved is able to yeah. you know be there for it. And it's tricky, Austin. There's a lot going on every day. That's what's great about Austin is there's just like you never have to be alone because there's always something going on. Um, if you want that. And um, you're likely to run into ten people you know as well. <laughs> like, at least. Um, no, and... I, I was just thinking more about herself and it's actually going going forward, you know, and um, because I'd love to to do this regularly, um, oh, because yeah. I mean the, the, the art is is just you know wow, and it and it you know it brings color in my life. It, it wakes me up. It uh, yeah, all the positive things that that I need in life. So yeah, I'd love to be a part of that. But for me. You know, it's more towards the week, the weekends, the Fridays and the Saturday nights because it's a killer. It's the same the other way around. You know, when we talk to people in, Aust we talk to a guy in Australia. Um, you know, I don't know what sort of time he crawled out of bed in the morning, but <laughs> it was it was super early just to talk to a couple of old farts. But hey, you know, but he, I, I, I was really thrilled that we spoke to him because he just made stuff. He thought really, sort of jaw droppingly wacky stuff. Uh, Tim Lee, you can find him on the Two Old Farts uh, website, www.twooldfarts.com. Shameless, shamelessly plugging, as always. Shamelessly plugging. We, you can yeah. find him on that. Um, and, and, yeah, and he, he, he has just, at his age, followed his dream. Um, you know, and I think that's uh, for all those people that, you've, that you're representing and that have got the art on the wall behind you. You know, you're representing them as they're following their dreams, and you you should yeah. be you should be proud to to you know of yourself to do that. I am. I am. Well, I feel privileged and honored. Yeah. To be able to do this um, for people, and you know, I it's kind of funny. How it started out. I didn't know where I was going at first. You know, I really just wanted to get my art in galleries and then I kind of have always been a really impatient person so I just went ahead and started my own you know, situation and now I'm here like just in the thick of it doing this for everyone because I realized that I had some skills to offer that you know maybe they could, could be useful to other people yeah. yeah and it's currently just uh, just in Austin that you're doing all of this um I have I've actually considered there's some things possibly in the works for you know maybe some mobile shows or some pop-ups in New York and California I mean I oh. have friends all over the country okay. um in Portland you know so there's definitely options to expand um I'm open to anything I'm currently looking for a space a gallery space in Austin um I've been doing pop-ups um at places like that are vacant you know like you know, the month has already started. You didn't rent your space out. You know, you're a commercial real estate uh, person and you have something that would be like a nice storefront for, for something. And, you know, it, sometimes people will let me just bring the art in and pop it up and, you know, give that, you know, visibility for artists um, to, to have. And, and it's, it's a huge it's a huge boon for us and you know we really we really appreciate that. So anyone who's listening that might have a space that would be willing to um, you know, donate for a week or a month or whatever, you know, even a couple of days, like I would be so appreciative of that. And so would all of these wonderful artists, because we just need platforms, we need visibility in order to get the art out there, which you guys are giving us. And so I thank you so much for that. With, with our whole, with our 12 fans globally. Yes. <laughs> So, well, yeah. it's you know it's out there. Yeah. Um, well, you know. I'm amazed actually that Stephen uh, didn't uh, mention a certain city on the planet, which uh, which oh, right. you know, right. I, I, I mentioned I, it. <laughs> oh, you mentioned, yeah, but you don't get paid for it. Okay. Uh, but, so, this is. But, uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, normally he's like a dog with a rabbit. You know, he's 
as soon as the dog sees the rabbit, he's out there. But today, he's sleeping a bit. Technology's no, no. catching up with him. And um, Stephen, what's, do you have something to offer today? What's What's happening is, is because now I'm apparently the producer and director of our live feed. I'm oh my make God! Sure this is all correct. On Zoom, it's easy. I just sit there and look pretty. Neither of you say a word, please. Um, <laughs> but, um, I don't, what's What's going wrong now? Is all I can say. That's very true. This is this is what I look like without makeup. So no, so I'm learning how to do all this. But yes, New York, the greatest city in the world. Too bad we can't have an auction out there. Do you feel better? Thank you very little. So <laughs> this auction again is for Tasty's Farmers Market. It's outside there where they're going to just have their first store on South Congress, across from St. Edwards. Right? I got that one right. Yeah. I keep right. calling it St. That's Edwards. also my alma mater. So go through it. Edwards, oh, that's why. Okay, so it's across from your alma mater, St. Edwards. <laughs> Um, and in fact, we know was a girl that lives close to us, and she plays football for them, uh, soccer. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're known doing. for their soccer team for sure. They, yeah, state champs in the whole nine yards, so it'll be mm -hmm. there. It starts at six o'clock Central Time, Austin time, ends at nine o'clock Austin time. If you're watching this, and not too many people watching the live feed because it's early, so they'll watch it probably in recording. That you are more than welcome to join us at um, six o'clock at night um, Central Time this Thursday, October 20th, and you can actually bid on the art. Um, yes. and, and we'll take you on a little walk around and show you what's around as well. And you can kind of- You guys are gonna love it. I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to it. Um, also, if you, we have this awesome opportunity to win a um, $100 Tasty's gift card. Um, so all you have to do is RSVP. So you just go to Tasty's Market, um, T-A-S-T-E-S um, Market, uh, dot com slash event with just just event no no s um that's not confusing and rsvp <laughs> and then that'll get you on the list um and to win that awesome Great. gift card that's um, awesome and give us an idea of how many people we're going to be dealing with <laughs> we're, we're expecting thousands so yeah thousands. Thousands. I mean, for the we are we are that. expecting you know possibly you know three, three to five hundred so you know there will be a crowd um, but it's a, it's a good sized parking lot and, you know, that we're put, posting up it and we have all the amenities, porta potties, everything. The kids will be, have like lots of things to do so the parents can, can shop and like, you know, kind of have like or a Or you can lock your child it. in a porta potty. So that's fine. If you want to lock your child in a porta potty with a group of Right. Children, we just, you know, that's smart. their time out, you know. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, you, you, you can call that out, can't you? You know, so. <laughs> So. Any anything can be as long as it makes you feel something. There you go, and that's then I won't even go down that road because that's another <laughs> two-hour show. Thank you so much for getting up early this morning. We know Thanks. that you just you know you have to take out the trash. Um, yeah. and, oh, I did gonna, do that uh, this morning, like literally. <laughs> David, David's gonna his nurse is gonna come in shortly and do whatever, and then we'll do some promos. We're just telling everybody that, so you'll see some goofy stuff in the next couple of days for the art. And then we'll have some clips of the art and we'll go from there. And once again, thank you. Try to join the auction live if you can't on the internet. I'm sorry. Try to join the auction live on YouTube with us. Mm -hmm. If you can't make it there in person, you get to at least experience that. Absolutely. Please join thank us. You, and if you can make it in person, fabulous. Um, if not, I'll, I'm, feel free to contact me for any reason art related. Um, I, you know, I produce shows, but I also do um, like I do in per in house art curation so that sounds wrong on many levels just so we're clear so oh, like concierge art services yeah, basically yeah. so yeah. Just the way anything you, said, you need <laughs> whatever you need just call me please just call, call me call oh, me right. maybe <laughs> so thanks guys um yeah so i'm gonna toss, toss you a wild and please go to tasty's market and support and local artists plug, in any way you can because we, we need plug that. your site one more time uh it's wild art curation uh, dot com that's wild with an e just like awesome. we'll have it as david likes to do this down below somewhere bye guys yeah thank, thank you, you guys bye today.